the phases of wound healing are important. We kind of forget about it, but the, the reason they're important is that how we treat them depends on what phase of wound healing we are in, and what we expect to happen will depend on what phase we're in as well. So at first, what happens is you just have a lot of inflammatory cells coming in because of the irritation and the trauma. So this happens at day zero and goes out to three to five days. So that's really where anti-inflammatories are helpful for pain. So your NSAIDs at least three to five days out. You have vasoconstriction on purpose to try and limit the bleeding, and that's about five to ten minutes out from the initial injury, and that's the patient doing it, not you. And after that, the vessels dilate because your fibrinogen, the things that are forming the scar beginning the healing, start coming in, as well as your clotting factors. So your primary clot with your platelets and your secondary clot with your clotting cascade through the complement cascade. And then eventually comes your neutrophils and macrophages, and that's what's going to help clean everything up in response to the inflammation and irritation. So when your neutrophils come in, they come in in force. They demarginate from the blood vessels that just dilated, but they don't live that long. In fact, that peak of when they're coming in is about six hours. And so this is the inflammatory phase. This isn't an infected wound. These are good neutrophils coming in for the right reasons. They try and eat the debris and some of the dead tissue because they try and heal the wound on their own. Maybe this isn't an open wound. Maybe we're just talking about a spay incision. And then they also send out cellular um, talking, communication, through chemotaxis to the monocytes and bring in your monocytes because those are the next phase of healing are these arrival of the macrophages. These are in much smaller numbers than the neutrophils, um, but they definitely accumulate in tissues and tissues with more dead tissue. And they peak about 12 hours. So neutrophils at 6, macrophages at 12. And then they also do some chemotaxis to bring in growth factors because that's what helps keep the cascade going into the repair phase. So now we're at inflammation. We've got a clot. We've got some cells in there cleaning stuff up. And now we're trying to start to repair it by the formation of granulation tissue. And then it contracts. So it's a smaller wound. Any scar on the body is going to contract and then epithelialize to get normal, healthy skin across it.